Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are gonna do update, I believe it's eight in my 20 favorites in 2020 project pan. This is a huge collaborative project pan. It, I think it's mostly happening over on Instagram. So the hashtag is 20 favorites in 2020, it'll be here, but also like the hashtag that I usually have in the description box and in the subject of the title is the hashtag for um, Instagram. But this was created by Denise or just some makeup pans. I will have her also across the screen as well as her Instagram is linked down below in the description box always. I have a playlist and I think there's a Google Doc. I can't remember if there's a Google Doc. But it, and everything that I have is gonna be listed down below with everyone that's doing this, like the playlist, the, like Denise, that you can search the hashtag on Instagram. All that good stuff is going to be down below in the description box. Um, there, This was a really like, you could do whatever you really wanted with this project, which was really nice. So the way that I started this project, and I feel like a lot of people started this project was 20 items. And then you either don't have roll-ins, you have roll-ins. And I've kind of like taken both, meshed them together. And I, I followed suit with Haley. She was doing 21 and by 2021 and we both felt very overwhelmed by that project so we both dwindled this down to a rolling 10 pan i know rebecca also did the same thing she rolled this down to a rolling 10 pan project pan so it's not as overwhelming um but i mean everything is so daunting in this project i mean these are items that you love that are your favorite so in theory it's so easy to use them but sometimes it's actually really hard to use your favorite items it's just it's hard to use items that you love. Like I get like fear of not having it anymore. Some of these are like limited edition items and I'm like, what am I gonna do when they're gone? But we are breaking that mindset. We are using our products that we spent our hard earned money on. And yeah, I'm just gonna start getting into it because I don't want this to be a super long video. I don't want my camera to overheat. The ring light is on it because the outside light was too much today. So. We're just gonna get started talking about these products. So the first item I have, if you've seen a couple of my last updates, you would know that I did some makeup surgery on the product. I had a quad, it was the wild thing. It was a quad by Bare Minerals and I repressed the two shades that I wanted to keep in it into my subculture palette. This is my beloved subculture palette. I love this color story so much. I had two empty slots in this bad boy. So I was like, I have two shades I wanna keep, perfect match made in heaven and i actually really love the color story that like you'll see a picture of like what we looked like last month i love the way that this little section of the palette looks i think it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful very like springtime appropriate in my opinion but here is what we're looking like now with these shades so i'm just, i have to angle it down a little bit so you can see so the reflection of the ring light but we are working on the shade here. This is the shade called Sensational. It was in that quad. This one had already hit pan on, which was my goal for that shade. But yeah, if we are just working to finish this guy up, not much has changed in it. We did go down slightly in weight. You'll have the weights listed up there as well. So I'm actually wearing this shade here on my inner corner today. And then this shade I actually have tucked into the crease. Let me just make sure you can kind of see it. I don't know, the greenish tint that is peeking through, I think you can see it in this look, that is that green shade here, which was called Icon from that same quad. So I am, I mean, if I can hit pan in this one too, that'd be super cool, but really I'm just focusing on this guy and then whatever else I can do in this palette, I'm cool with because I want to eventually use this completely up, which that's daunting. That's a very extreme goal, but we are working on this. It's gonna stay out. I've I've had it out on my um, vanity for months. I think the entire year at this point. And now we're approaching fall. Then the next item in my project has been in since January. It's been in for the long haul. And that is my Kiko Milano Classic Red. This is just a mini lipstick. It is a beautiful shade of red. It is a deep classic red as the name would suggest. So I'm gonna have like the picture of like where we've been going each month. So we are done. We are, I'm calling it with this guy when I apply it, the plastic scrapes onto my lips. So I, I feel like I don't get as good. I'm not wearing it today. I wore it this morning and realized that it was scraping my lips, but I'm done. I'm done using this. I'm very happy about what I've done with this. I am ecstatic about this. So one lipstick completely done. And I'm so excited. I have a shade very, very similar to this that I might work on later. 
I'm not going to do it now. Just, it's not going to happen, but I'm very excited about that. This is the gift that keeps on giving. This is my Tarte Aubergine Clay Play Liner. Um, this is just like a deep purpley brown, really, really pretty. It's just never ending. I don't know what it is about this. It just, it never ends. Like every time I push it, I have to do like this and push the sides, but product comes out every single time. Every single time product comes out more and more. I don't understand. We, I don't, we've gone down very minuscule in weight. I've only used this a handful of times this month. <sighs> when will it end? When will it end? So I don't know. I took a sideways picture like that. So maybe you can see I, there, I don't think has been any change in this, but Maybe you'll see. I don't think so, but maybe. The next, I'm actually, I don't think that I've made a lot of progress with it, but I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm continuing to use it. I'm very proud of what I've done in it. And that is my Sailor Moon and ColourPop palette. I'm not working on the whole palette. I mean, with my pan, those eyeshadows, I am working on a few shades in this palette now. Um, I've taken them out, so there's no spoilers. But I am working on this guy here, Silver Millennium. I want to finish it up by the end of the year. Um, I've heard that the Super Shocks can dry out, and I don't want that to happen with it. So I I just immediately when I got it, I knew I was going to put it into this project to use. So it's not really a favorite, so it's kind of cheating in this project. But we've made a ton of progress with it. Again, I've only used it a handful of times. I've been panning so many colors so they don't lend to like this kind of shade much. I mean, it's a lot of like blues, a lot of like pinks. Granted, this shade does look good with pinks, but I've been wanting to play with more of my color and more and more color every time I use my eyeshadows. So this didn't get as much love. And I, since I have another cream or liquid highlight in this project, this hasn't been giving, getting as much love in the cream highlight kind of field. So I might start incorporating it more that way, but I'm, I'm okay with the progress that I've made and I will continue to just use it for the rest of the year, I guess. The next item I have is from Bare Minerals. This is a concealer in the shade Bisque. I should have marked it um, before. I should have marked it. So we are slightly, and I mean ever so slightly, below that last line that I have. So I don't know if you'll really be able to see, maybe. Like you can hopefully tell that we are slightly below that line there. Not by much, the weight hasn't changed on this. So we are, I'm continuing to just use it. Um, this is gonna take for the rest of the year, probably up until 2021. Like this will probably last me until this time next year, if I'm being honest, because there's just a lot of product in here. Um, unless I use this as like an all over setting powder or a powder foundation, this is just gonna, this is gonna take a while to finish up. Then I have another Bare Minerals product. This is in a blush called Awestruck. I wish I would have taken a better picture of it before, but I hope you can see like that. There's definitely some missing in there. So I'm not wearing this today. However, it is beautiful. I really think that it's going to like have its time to shine as we get in deeper into summer and into fall. This kind of color is my favorite thing to wear. It's like a terracotta kind of shade. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Maybe that'll show you a little bit better. It's almost slightly orangey, but not quite. I really like this. Um, I finished two blushes this year, so I mean, I'm happy with that. If I can just make dents in this blush, I'm, I'm okay with that. Then moving on, we have my Mario Badescu spray, and I've made a ton of progress on this one. So that was where we were the f when I rolled it in. We were up here, last update, and now we're down there. I mean, I think... I even marked it a little bit high. I think we might be a little bit lower than this. I think this is only going to take me two more months to use up, which is good because the sprayer on this is not my favorite. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of ready to just like move this on out of my collection and use the one that I really, really love, which is that hourglass one that Influencer sent me. So I'm, I'm excited to continue to use this, but I am looking forward to when this is done and over with. Um, there are times where I spray this Oops. So there are times that I spray this as like a pre-skincare step. Um, this has fragrance in it though, so I don't think I would repurchase this, but it is nice. It's, it's very affordable and it's nice for what it does. So happy about that. 
Then I have my Bare Minerals. Oh, this is so reflective. Maybe the ring light will help it not be super reflective. This is a deluxe or like a jumbo size of the Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. Um, I'll have a picture. It's hard to take a picture of where this is because it is like a sifter kind of product. So Ripley is in here and he, he's trying to rub his face on the, on the tripod. So if it tilts, Ripley, stop that bub. So I'll have a picture here about like where the level was when we last talked about this but since it is like a sifter kind of product and this is opaque it's going to be hard to really see like where things are but this is where hopefully you can see where we are now which is right down here there's not that much left and actually when i dump it out like obviously i have to tilt it upside down but i have to like bang it like this to get product out um, so I don't think that this is going to last too much longer. I am going to try to get this big plastic thing off of it so I can get every last drop out of here. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy about what I've done with this. I will continue to use it until it's done. Yeah. The next item I have is my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. This is a very unsatisfying item to Project Pan because you can't, like, the the label goes all the way around you can't see anything i can't look into it and see i'm really just going by weight alone on this one and we've barely made a dent i yeah we've used a gram of product a little over a gram there's only 15 mils and mils and grams when i weigh them on my food scale like with cooking they're about the same they are the same so i've used essentially 1 15th of product in this. I did use it a few times before I rolled it into this project, not a lot. So there is a chance that there's two grams used up of product in here, but I mean 15 mils of product. Then the last item, which was rolled in last update, is my Stila Shimmer and Glow, and this is in the shade Cloud. There's actually not that much product in here, uh, and the product is getting very hard to work with. So I don't know if you'll be able to see when I do this, maybe. Maybe there's definitely windows in there. So hopefully you can see there's windows in this product. I continuously have to take the stopper out, add eye drops, mix it up, put the stopper back in to get it nice and like liquidy. So I don't think that this is gonna be with us for that much longer. I will continue to use it. I'm very happy about using it. So since we rolled out my lipstick, this guy here, I get to roll in one product, which I'm very excited about. That lipstick was a huge deal, and I really contemplated rolling in a lipstick in its place, which is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. And then I thought about it, and I went, no, I have a super old foundation that I want to work on because I, if not, I will just have it sit there because I love it so much that I don't want it to leave my collection, which is ridiculous. It's a foundation that I've had since... 2017 and I know I know that's disgusting I know which is why I want to use it so that is my Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation I love the coverage on this I love that it's so lightweight I love the coverage that I get with such a little amount of product I have it on today but I had to take a mask on and off we were doing some stuff for like my upcoming wedding so I had to I, I've been wearing a mask on and off today so it probably looks a little sketchy around like the mask region. So I'm, I'm bringing this into the project. I don't know if you'll be able to see where it is here. I'm about to here, a little under where that square is. I've marked it there. So I like this foundation a lot though. I'm gonna be really sad when I'm done with it. They do still sell and make this foundation. I just, I don't know how inclusive this brand is, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that because I really want to start pushing towards using more inclusive brands and brands that don't just cater to my skin tone. So I believe Catrice is cruelty free though and like that, they don't test on animals kind of thing. So I'm gonna bring this in. I'm really excited to work on this. I think this might be the foundation that I wear on my wedding day very excited about that. So I am going to bring this guy into this project. Um, I'm in the shade light beige, if you're curious. It's a little bit too light. I mix it with um, my MAC NC35, like a couple drops of the NC35 to like a decent amount of this. So it is a little bit too light, but now I'm going to get use out of two of my foundations, which I'm all for. 
And that is it. That is my update for my 20 favorites in 2020 Project Pan. Thank you again to Denise for thinking of this project. I'm very excited to be a part of it this year. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to check out the ladies in the description box below. There are four of us doing it on YouTube here. It is Rebecca, Andrea, and Steph Lyons. All of their channels are amazing. I will have each of them listed down below as well as our playlist with everyone involved in this project. It'll be listed down below. And yeah, until next time, I will catch you in my next video. Bye!